Hi guys, welcome to my IG uh, live, or if you watch this on the replay, welcome to my IGTV. Today is going to be a very different live. So if you, well, you might just want to stick with me. Hi Jamie, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial <laughs> today because a lot of people have asked for it and I know it might seem like it's a stretch because I usually talk about self-help, self-development, um, all those other positive things, self-awareness, self-love. But a couple people have requested this, so I'm just going to go through my whole makeup routine with you um, and show you what I do all the time. So, <laughs> Jamie, it might get too long, so I understand if you click out. Um, but it's going to be up on my IGTV. Hopefully you guys can see me. I have all my stuff like all in front of me. I haven't done a makeup, um, like a get ready with me live ever. So just bear with me. This should be fun. I'll be going through all the different products. I'll be talking to you about why I love makeup. What first, um, drew me to makeup, how I first got started in makeup, and why I still continue to love it to this day. So I already prepped my skin. Um, I'll show you the skincare that I use today. Origins is like my favorite skincare brand. So this is a Mega Mushroom, you know what? I might not go through the whole thing. <clears throat> That's gonna take too long. So this is a treatment lotion and this is a moisturizer this one is super super um moisturizing usually i use it like if i've been in the sun a lot and i want just more moisture for my skin but my usual everyday <clears throat> moisturizers i have two are my origins ginseng this is so good with this one i hardly ever break out even that time of the month when I get my menses, this one, I hardly ever break out when I use this one. And this is another really good one. This is the belief. So that's the skincare that I usually use on my face. Sometimes it's a moisturizer. Sometimes I use a serum if I feel like I'm needing anything uh, more intense or a deeper, what is that? Like a repair type of thing. This is my face primer. Um, this is new to me. I like it. It's really good. Um, some other ones that I have really enjoyed is the Milk Makeup uh, Primer. That one is really good. It has like a stickier texture. Um, this one I would say is smoother. It's more moisturizing. And then another one that I like is by Ole Her Her Henriksen. It's a, um, it's an orange one. I just used it all up, but it's like a brightening serum. So your face tends to look brighter. It has like, like small shimmering flecks. So anyway, I just prime my face. I'm going to prime my eyes. Oh, and I primed my lips earlier with this Laneige sleeping mask. I use this because I started using more liquid lipsticks and liquid lipsticks can really dry out your lips. So I use this prior to putting on any lip products. And now I just happen to use it every day. My lips have gotten accustomed to it. That's another thing. Your skin can also get accustomed to your skincare. So sometimes what works for you can stop working because your skin gets used to it. It's just like, um, you ever heard of shampoos where you need to like change out your shampoos sometimes? That's just like skincare. Uh, sometimes your face just gets used to it and you have to try something new or switch it up or reset your skin. Uh, for my eye primer, I am using, so eye primer, those of you that are going to watch this and you're like, what the heck? Eye primer is just something that makes your, extends the life of your eyeshadow. So it usually goes on your eyes. I have this one. Um, this one is a 24 hour can you see it's a prep and prime extended eye base um, I'm just trying to use this up I wouldn't say this is my preferred but it works really well and then I also use paint pots um, 
and this one is in the color Lang Low. Lang Low, it really uh, matches my skin tone. It's kind of like, uh, the best way to describe it is it's a, it's similar to a concealer. Prior to me using any eyeshadow bases, I used to use concealer. Um, but this one actually works a little bit better. It's not as thick uh, and it gives you a nice coverage so you don't feel like cakiness on your eyes. Um, so these are the two that I use. I'm going to use this one. Oops, drop my cover. I'm going to leave it there. And then I just put it all over my eyes. Hopefully you guys can see what's happening. I tend to be more rough than oops picking up my cover I tend to be more rough on my face than other people are other people can be really gentle um, but I tend to be more rough now I'm going to go in with where is it I was getting it ready and I don't know where it went I'll be right back I Seem to have misplaced my beauty blender. I'll be right back. I am, here it is. Okay. And I'm back. I use a beauty, beauty, I use a beauty blender. <laughs> a beauty. I use a beauty blender for my foundation. So this is it. It's really dirty. Like my brushes, I use them. So they're going to have product on it. But I tend to, um, you got to get it a little moist. A lot of people don't like that word. I don't care. Um, I use my Fix Plus. I also spray it on my face. It's just a really good refreshing spray. Um, it's not necessarily a makeup setting spray, but it does work really well to set like your uh, powder products. And then today I am using... Um, mac it's kind of blurry studio finish with spf 15 broad spectrum this is like one of my favorite foundations i love it mac by itself is like my favorite makeup line um i love it because it's a complete line you can go from a to z you can do all the base the moisturizing and all the makeup stuff and then tell finishing um all in one all in one makeup brand so if i had to choose just one makeup brand it would be mac mac was also my uh first high-end makeup i used to be somebody that went to the drugstore i would buy revlon and i would use an extra coupon like that's the only time i ever bought makeup and then i think i've shared this many times but just in case you missed it all of my grandmother's brothers were trans transgendered and so they were fabulous and i've been infatuated with like drag queens ever since i was young and um where was i going with this story i don't even know how that started but um i just love like my dream was to be a drag queen because i just thought they were the most beautiful people on the planet and i love that they created their own reality you know um they took something, their dream, and they went after it, even with all the backlash, even with all the criticism. And so I just love that. But um, so I'm just going all over my face. I have my mirror right underneath my camera. So if you see me looking down, it's right there. I would say for me, foundation color tends to fluctuate because I do go to the beach. I feel like I was saying something and I completely forgot before I started talking about my grandmother's brothers. Um, how I first got actually introduced into makeup was when I was younger, like I was maybe three or four. I used to watch my grandmother put on her makeup and she would put on her Maybelline red eye pencil in her eyebrows and I was just fascinated and then she would use her Revlon lipstick and she would overdraw 
her lips and I was like, and I used to stand there and I used to be like, Grandma, why do you draw it like over your lips? Why is it going on your chin? And she, she would just be like, shut up, shut up. That's just how she was. So hopefully, there we go. We got it all over. So sometimes I do my eyes first. Sometimes I do my face first. Sometimes like I do it in different orders. I try to switch it up so I don't get like bored or into the routine. But um, makeup is one of my favoriteest, like favoriteest self-care practices. When I do my makeup, I usually turn on a podcast, I turn on an audiobook, or I turn on music that just makes me feel excited. And for me, I'm not one that thinks I need makeup, but I love makeup. It's my favorite way of expressing myself. It's my favorite medium. Um, I feel like it expresses who my true self is when I use it. I'm just putting a little bit more. So this makeup is going to last me till tonight. And that's how most makeup is. Um, especially if it's good makeup, it tends to stay on longer. But that's also why I'm really good about my skincare. Because not everything in makeup is good for your face. So you need that layer of protection. go okay and then after this I'm going to do powder so I'm using this one it's a little dark for my face I would say um, because it matches my beach face so I just do it all over my face and I tend to push it in I used to only use a puff oh my gosh you know, the puff that they give you with the compact. I used to only use a puff. The reason I also put foundation on my mouth and powder is because it also makes your lipstick last longer. And then I try not to go right under my eyes because I'm still going to use concealer. But I'm just pushing it. If you can see, I'm pushing it in. And this one, I tend to be a little bit more um, gentle. Sometimes I can be really rough. But I just love makeup. I love the transformation part of it. It really is meditative for me. I sit um, at my desk and I take my time. Jamie is asking, do you have oily skin? I have dry skin, so I need to be careful with powder. No, I have, well, I can't say no. I have combination skin. In this part, in this area, especially this, my nose gets really, really um, oily. It used to be a little bit worse, but I do think it matters on the skincare that I used before it. And then with this, even though it looks like I'm using a lot, it's actually not that much and I'm just pressing it in. And then there are other powders that are better for you if you have dry skin. There are some that are a little bit lighter and there are some foundations where you don't need to cover it with a powder. I like to cover with a powder just for uniformity. Okay, I did my... I'm going to do bronzer. I did my powder. So I'm using this bronzer. I am not the best with bronzer. With bronzer, I am like late to the bronzer game. There's some people that got it down pack with the contouring, the bronzer, all of that. Um, I would say this is not my strong suit. Bronzer and eyebrows. That's not my strong suit. But I still love it all. It's still part of the process. I think what's hard is when you have a darker complexion, um, bronzer can tend to look reddish on you, and then some bronzers can tend to look gray, so I'm still figuring it out. So I'm just running my brush through here. 
And then I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna make this face because it makes it easier. And I'm gonna go on the other side. If you ever watch people in tutorials, they favor one side of their face if you ever watch it. And that's how I am too. Even like in real life, I favor my right side. So I always try to be um, cognizant of that. I try to make sure that I am giving attention to the other side. And then I tend to go up here. A lot of people say to do the three, one, and then down here, but I just do it separate and I try to blend it together. And this just adds more color. Bronzer is really good. Say if you brought the, you bought the wrong uh, foundation shade, you brought, you bought a lighter one. Bronzer can help you blend that better. I don't do baking per se, and I would say it's because. That's also not my strong suit. I'm not a very good baker. I'm still I'm still learning, I would say, when it comes to that. So hopefully uh, that was good. And then I'm going to do blush. My blush cap is gone. So I'm just trying to use all of this. This is Mocha by MAC. blush is like my favorite is blush and lip gloss like I have tons of blush more than I have cheeks for but I love it and I try to blend this in with my uh, bronzer And then I'm going to move to, I know it seems out of order. I'm going to move to my eyes because I want to put um, concealer on the bottom. So I'm using a palette that I made on my own. Jamie, did I answer your question with the uh, powder, oily skin, dry skin thing? You might want to find a um, moisturizing foundation. So like any foundation that says dewy, luminous, um, moisturizing, those are really good. One of my favorite foundations, but they're, it's, it's pretty pricey, um, is the Armani Luminous Silk. You get the right shade in that and it makes your skin look so amazing. So I'm going to go in with eyeshadow, put primer earlier. This is just a base eyeshadow that I'm using. I think it's uh, Vanilla by MAC. When I first parlayed into um, MAC from Drugstore, I went straight from Drugstore to MAC. When I first parlayed into mac from drugstore mac would sell everything separate and i was so used to the compacts in the store where they give you like four eyeshadows and i think four eyeshadows like covergirl or maybelline or even uh, revlon i think the most you're gonna spend was like five dollars at the time and then i went to mac and each eyeshadow was like nine dollars and i was like well what does it come with does it come with a brush does it like it should come with something. <laughs> they were like, no. <laughs> oh, it was shocking, but it didn't stop me. I still love it. Okay, and then, so I just put a base on my eyes, uh, again, for uniformity. And then I'm gonna go in with a transition color. And these two colors I'm using is Samoa Silk and Bamboo. Bamboo is such a good transition color. Last year, um, I wasn't 
there's something in my hair. I wasn't allowed to wear my contacts. See how much payoff that is? It's because I also have eyeshadow already on the brush. Um, I wasn't, not I wasn't allowed, but I was encouraged by the doctor to take a break because my eyes weren't getting enough um, moisture in them because I was wearing my contacts so often. And so last year I took a whole year off of my contact wearing and I wore glasses. But I still love makeup, so I still wore makeup all the time. And I had to learn to do my makeup without being able to see. And so I learned by rote, where I just, now, it just um, comes to me. And I know that looks pretty dramatic, but I go back in, and I soften it, and I blend it back. Everything about makeup is blending. People are going to do things differently. Some people want to pack in color. But if you blend really well, uh, you can get away with anything. Now I'm going to go with the outer corner. I don't know what I want to do on my eyes first. I think I'm going to go gray today. I'm going to go on my outer corner. I'm going to take it right here. Keep it right here. Build the intensity. And this one is texture and I think saddle. Those are like some of my favorite eyeshadows from MAC. I have since branched out into different brands because I just love makeup. I'm a makeup enthusiast. I love it. I'm so like still attracted and excited by makeup. I love the transformation. I love what it does. I love how it can change somebody's mood or somebody's appearance. And I, a lot of people think um, that people who wear makeup are trying to hide something. I don't have that belief at all. Like I said earlier, I feel like makeup helps me express more of who I really am. And so I love it. And again, it's such a, a good uh, self-care practice because it helps you with your mood it helps you to really see yourself as beautiful for a lot of people. They don't believe they are or can be. When I worked at, I worked at a really popular makeup store. Um, and just watching these women be able to see themselves as beautiful. It was so amazing. You know, you're going through... And you're doing the different steps like you're watching me you're seeing me do the different steps and you're like you know each step might be like oh wow oh but when it comes together and the person sees their themselves the makeover it's so exciting for them to know that they're beautiful and they can be and sometimes you just need something to bring out your eyes or to help you see that it's possible. I'm just doing the inner corner. Thank you for hanging in. <laughs> you don't have to, but thank you. Even after I became a therapist, my love for makeup didn't wane. And I was like, I have to go work in the makeup field. I have to go do something with makeup. So that's when I applied to, like, to me, it was the best makeup company ever. They set the trends. Like, 
now makeup is explosive it's everywhere everybody um you know women have come a long way with knowing how to do makeup before it was still uh just i would say it wasn't as widely spread people were still excited people were still um attracted to it but they they didn't know how to do it as much now everybody knows how to do makeup so to speak everybody you know knows how to do their eyes or their lips and i think i would say the kardashians help with that in the sense where people were like i would like j-lo they were like oh my gosh you know people got more into makeup and so makeup became a thing and it was mainstream and everybody was doing it and people were educating themselves more asking questions do it, watching tutorials youtube like changed the game okay so i think i am done with the base of my eyes i'm gonna go on my lid so for my lid i'm gonna put some concealer because i think i'm going to use like a shimmery type uh, Jamie said, I love it. I live for transformation. Absolute. And that's like transformation inside, transformation outside. You know, I love it. I love all the transformations. When I went for my interview at this makeup company, I was so afraid and intimidated. And I had so many self doubts running through my head. Because to me, this was like the epitome of makeup. Like, if you wanted to do anything in makeup, this is the company you wanted to work for. The competition to work there was really high. And I had loved this makeup company for years before I even tried to really pursue a job there. Okay, so this is concealer. It's just going to help, again, I'm going to use like a glittery shade. It's going to help it stay on my eyes better. Let me see. I was thinking of doing gray. I don't know though. So exciting. So many colors. You know what? I think I'm going to use this color over here. It's called Sultry. This is by Anastasia in case you guys are wondering what makeup I'm using. And I forgot to give to bring myself like a whiting or blotting thing. But I had never been so scared to go to an interview in my life as when I went to that one. I go to the interview and everybody um so you went to like a initial there was three interviews. You went to like a initial wait, was it three? It was a two step process. So you went to an initial interview and they decided if um they wanted to see you back and when they saw you back you had to demonstrate your makeup skills so the first one you went to was like a initial like oh we think you know you might be a fit and the second one was an actual like they had a panel and there was more there were more uh applicants there so more interviewees uh, interviewees i think there was like eight of us vying for positions and they had like a couple freelance positions and they had a couple full-time positions i wanted a freelance position because i already had a job i was doing this mainly because it was my passion and i loved makeup and it was always a dream I wanted to pursue to be a makeup artist. Um, so I get to the interview and everybody there, their makeup is gorgeous to the nines. Like they were so amazing and I was so intimidated. I was like, who am I? Like, what am I doing here? I didn't go to school for makeup. I am just here because I love makeup. You know, like these people look like they ate makeup for breakfast. I know I'm exaggerating, but they like makeup now. Again, it's taken years for it to get that way. They were like that then at the interview. 
and I was so intimidated. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I there was so many different self-talk conversations I was having in my head. I was told, oh my, my concealer went to the top. So I gotta fan it out. There we go. Um, I was so intimidated. We get in there. We have like the trainer of the company. We have one of the store managers. And I think we either had like an assistant manager or like a regional director there. And all the girls are, they are stunning, like model worthy, beautiful. And I'm like in my head, what am I doing here? And I just told myself, I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to. So I had to like take a deep breath inside. Hi, I am doing a makeup tutorial hi courtney some of the people that join me live they asked me to do a makeup tutorial so that's what i'm doing on my live today and then i'm talking about how makeup is a great form of self-care and right now i'm sharing my story of when i interviewed for like one of the top makeup brands and i actually um and i was experiencing a lot of self-doubt a lot of nervousness and I had to just take a deep breath and I had to remind myself you know you're here because you love makeup you love what it does for people you love how it can transform them you love how it can help people see their beauty and that's why you're here and so I went with that and I just answered as honestly as I could and then you were supposed to bring a model with you so I brought my friend with me. She had actually worked for the company before. Um, so she came with me and she was so good. My friend was so awesome because they expect you to do like a full face in 30 minutes. And so she made me practice. She made me practice, 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 which I'm so grateful for. And then they expect you to also talk about the products while you're doing the person's face as if you were like working in the store. And so she had me practice that too. So she, she was so cute. She would ask me questions like, okay, what is this for? Okay, what is that for? And then um, you always want to make a product appear multi, like it has a lot of different uses so she would ask me, you know, what else can you use this for? And luckily, I already had been doing my homework for years, so to speak, because I had been loving makeup ever since I was three or four. The faces you make when you put on makeup. So something about this eye, the shadow always goes over here. So that's why I use concealer to clean it up. So I'm going to do my concealer. A lot of people have this down, they do the concealer, they do the contouring. I would say I'm still learning with all that. Most of it is just trial and error. They have like the fan that they do. And then I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend it out. And I like to do that because I feel like it helps me um, not be cakey. So I know this looks weird, but it all comes together. And something I love about makeup is you can change it. You know, if you don't like something, put something else on top. If you don't like how something came out, change it. A tip though, it is easy to add it is hard to take away so if you're trying like a new makeup color on your eyes a new eyeshadow or trying a new blush i would say tread lightly so and then i'm just going to use again the powder that i have left over to kind of blend that in and I'm going to use my under eye powder. My eyes are almost done. 
This is Laura Mercier Loose Powder. And this just helps to set the concealer. I feel like singing the song, um, I'm so glad of dripping, cause dripping is what I do. Something like that. I love that song. Okay, I'm going to put my eyeliner on. This is my favorite eyeliner color. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Burgundy. Oh my gosh. I use this burgundy eyeliner more than I use black. There we go. And I just love how it looks on my eyes. And then I'm going to go again with putting my eyeshadow on the bottom again. The reason I do eyeshadow is because it brings your top lid and it connects it to your bottom lid. So it looks like a cohesive, a very cohesive eye. For myself, I have to be a little careful because being that I do wear contacts, I sometimes get it on my eyes and then, and then I see that part again and then i'm seeing blurry for the rest of the day so i just try to be careful with that so this is my eye look i'm gonna go on the inside with highlighter i put it in my inner corner this is max uh whisper of guilt it is so old <laughs> i've had this for so long but I'm, I'm committed and dedicated to using up my products. I used to be a really bad makeup hoarder. And now I try to make sure I use a lot of my product up. I used to, um, I had to, not I used to, I had to declutter. Jamie is asking me, have you tried magnetic lashes? No, but they are on the agenda. I want to it's um I really want to like that's something I want to try but I haven't done enough research on it I originally thought about um getting lash lash extensions but people say that uh lash lash extensions aren't good for your regular eyelashes it tends to make it come out so that's kind of made me not go for lash extensions have you jane have you tried um magnetic lashes and what brand do you use this is another one of my favorite blushes this is um the actual blush and this is like the blush topper so remember earlier i put blush on my cheek And then I wanted to do my concealer so that I can try, I can put my uh, blush topper. This is like my favorite thing. It's so pretty. Can you see? I love this. It's like a, it could probably be used as a highlighter, but I just feel like it's a really nice blush topper. I love it. This is Cover FX. Cover FX, after MAC, I would say Cover FX has some of the best uh, blushes. And I love that it's a duo, so it's a blush and a, um, a topper at the same time. Okay, so we're done with the eyeshadows. I just gotta finish the rest of my face. I gotta do my eyebrows, my highlighter, um, and my lips. My lips are like my favorite things. I love, love, love lips. I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm using, um, this is the fat liner by Ico. This brand is so good, but underrated. Jamie said to her question, have you, I asked her if she tried magnetic lashes and Jamie said, not yet, but I'm interested because the struggle of applying lash glue and false lashes is real. Exactly. Another thing I think that holds me back is magnetic lashes can be really pricey. 
So if they don't work... <laughs> I've seen a couple of brands in the store. If you're looking for an easy um, liner for on top of your eyes to do like wings and stuff, this one is really good. It really simplifies it and makes it really easy. You get a lot of control. You can see the difference. We're almost done. We're almost in the home stretch. Jamie, we should try it together. Let's make a commitment to try. Got my eyeliner. Okay. Today I'm gonna cheat on my brows, and I say you're so fast with the makeup. It's because I've been doing it, and then the year of not being able to wear contacts, I learned how to do my makeup like without being able to see, and I just go by memory. Some people are way faster than I. Okay, so I usually um, color in my liner, usually, but today I'm going to use a pencil. I'm cheating because it's very easy to make a mistake with your liquid liner uh, for your eyebrows. So I just draw it in. I'm going to look at my mirror. And then I go on the other side. And I have to always remind myself they're um, cousins, they're not twins. Okay, so that usually gives me some structure to wear, um, to start my eyebrows, and then I just keep going. And for me, usually I wear like a thicker brow. I would say the pencil has more control, so it's ending up a little bit thinner but usually I'm very okay with a thick brow. I've always had very, um, so my eyebrow hairs are very thin and actually lighter. My daughter had really amazing eyebrows before she started pl over plucking. She had like Brooke Shields, the bushy type of eyebrow, but you have like a lot of substance there. Mine, if you look at it, it's pretty sparse. And that's not from over plucking. Preston, I'm doing my makeup tutorial. Hopefully they match. Jamie said, oh, I love thick eyebrows. And you're committed. Okay. Hopefully by this weekend, I'll find a nice pair of magnetic eyelashes. And we can try it.
Okay, the pencil tends to make life way easier because I'm just drawing it on. Hopefully, I prefer the brush actually, but I still like to outline it. Um, where's my concealer? With my concealer. Does anybody have any questions? Concealer is also good for like hiding mistakes. Like say you went a little bit over with your um, eyebrows. It helps you create like a sharper line. And then it just makes your eyebrows stand out more. It helps to like frame your eyebrows. And then so you can see the difference and just gonna go back in with my transition color to blend it with my concealer so it doesn't look so different hopefully this is okay so my eyes are done going to do my lips I have been on a cork pencil. Where is my, hmm. I think I forgot to grab, I forgot to grab my other, I don't see it. Okay, so I'm gonna line my lips with cork. This is my favoriteest lip liner ever. Oh, sorry, this is not cork, this is chestnut. Cork is my other favorite, but this is my, like, ride or die. Cork and chestnut. I love those two lip liners. I haven't found anything better just yet. When it goes on, it's going to look pretty dark, but you'll see it'll come off as a nude. And I just love how that looks. I'm gonna go get my other lip. I thought I grabbed it, but I must have left it on the counter. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. We're in the home stretch. We're almost done. We're almost done. So this is um, Nude Stick Whisper. Oh my gosh, life changing. This is like my fifth or sixth. And I rarely, rarely go through lip products. But this is like my fifth or sixth um, 
lip pencil and it's so good it just helps to mute the lip color and then i love a brown nudie brown nudie is like my heart i just love it and then i'm gonna go with stila lip gloss this is one of my favorites and i make sure to blend in the pencil So those are my lips. And then another thing I started doing um, is going back with my lip liner. Just to outline my lips a little bit more. I go back in <laughs> I know I never used to do all this I go back in with the nude and that's my lips and now I'm gonna go with highlighter highlight a few areas tip to make your highlighter look like it's your skin, put your highlighter on your brush and then spray with Fix Plus. And it just makes it look like it's part of your skin. So I usually highlight over here. It's right on the tops. I highlight over here. My nose my cupid's bowl and then I spray my whole face with setting spray this is one of my favorites it just makes my makeup last all day sometimes I use a fan to spray I rarely put on mascara I'm gonna put some on today I rarely put on mascara because a lot of times it gets on my contacts but this is one of my favorite um, mascaras it's a drugstore brand it's called essence lash princess uh, lash effect mascara so good here you can see my the side oh wait sorry I'm off camera the side and then I'll show you with And then it just you can see it from the side it is such a great drugstore mascara i'm like so impressed i my favorite mascara besides this one is the lancome hypnos drama this one like i would say i love just as much the only thing is you have to let it dry Else it can bleed under your eyes and this is the completed look this is a very typical makeup look that I do and again for me I love makeup makeup is one of my passions it's one of my joys I just feel like 
the art of transformation and getting ready is amazing. I love it. I love how I feel when I wear it. I feel like I'm more ready. I'm more like it helps to change your mood and your mindset. It gets you into the idea like you're just going to go out there and conquer the world. And I feel like that. Jamie says, Gorge. Oh, thank you, Jamie. So it's not hard. It's very easy. Even the way I do my eyes are super easy. It's not hard to do. I have hooded lids. So my lids tend to get really thick up here. Um, but do the things that light you up. Do the things that make you excited. For me, putting on makeup makes me excited. It's like, oh, what are we going to do today? It helps me to get ready. It lifts my mood. I just love it. I love watching people um, just feel good about themselves. And that's why I did that. You did it all in less than an hour. Yes, I would do it faster. Usually it takes me about half an hour to do my makeup. Um, but that's because I've been doing my makeup almost every day for like years and years and years but yeah do you have any questions jamie since you're here oh do i have mm, that happens you have any questions about any of the products any recommendations um what else now you don't need all these products that's a thing i wanted to make clear you don't need all these products i just love using all these products and it's because i've also been in the makeup industry so i have more knowledge i have more experience i have more um what is that i've exposure i've been around the makeup i've been around some really amazing true artists and i'm so glad i'm so lucky but um if you have any questions you can dm me hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you can do something that lifts your mood gets you excited about your day makes you feel good makes you feel beautiful makes you feel amazing um and i will talk to you guys later okay bye